to my studio. I am Julie E. This is Acrylic Painting with Julie E. We're doing a collaboration with Nate Bright Art. It is our Color of the Month collaboration. And this month for November, we have chosen a very fall festive kind of color. It is the Warmth of Copper. I love the Warmth of Copper. And it goes perfectly with the Cool of Blue. Um, mainly your turquoises, your greenish blues, your phalo blues. It's just gorgeous. So we've got those colors. We've got a Shelly's Masquerade that is by Parage Posse Paints. It is Shelly's Masquerade Shimmer. And we are using a Christina Welch um, recipe today. And I will tell you how these are all mixed in a minute. Um, next we have our satin enamel because we're going to try and do a cloud pour but we're going to try and get copper pearls to pop up through our cloud pour i don't know if it's ever been done i want to try it so i figure why not let's hope let's hope cross our fingers uh this has got the satin enamel the artist loft flow white and a squirt of the vallejo pearl medium in it and last, certainly not least, we have the Arteza Pearl Lilac, and it's a gorgeous color. So there we go. I have got a 14 by 18 inch gallery wrapped canvas. It is not the deep dish, it is the original crust. So hopefully we won't need as much paint. I'm going to mix up a bit of a flow extender and be right back and then we'll start layering our split cup So we're back. Uh, I did change up the purple. We're using Pearl Royale and we're going to layer the cup a little bit differently. I'm only going to do one chamber with a little bit of white and I'm not going to put down a base coat. I'm going to put the copper directly on the canvas itself this time and then we will fill up the other two of the chambers, one with the blue, one with the purple. and. Um, Go from there. All right, let's get started. Let me get on some gloves. Yeah, I think the base coat is what got the whole copper pearl thing that I wanted to achieve to fail uh, because the base coat just let all the copper slide right off and it didn't grab the canvas and then pearl up like I was hoping it would. So, we got that changed out a little bit, and Lord knows I have a bunch of uh, scraped paint in a bucket over there if I need it for a flow extender, but there should be plenty here, and hopefully that won't be needed. All right, let me move this, and then hopefully you can kind of see in there as to what I'm doing. So we're just going to fill up part of the chamber, just half again, but this time only one. There we go. Alright, and then, um, in case you wanted to know the consistency, it's right there. There is 
barely a mound. There is a little mound, but barely a mound. Um, this is Christina Welch's recipe that I saw on her channel. And she used one part Floetrol, or one part paint, one part Floetrol, one part Elmer's glue all, and then mixed. And that's what we have done. And then a little bit of water to consistency if needed. So I have made mine a little bit thinner than what hers were because I want those copper pearls to pop out. Why does that look chunky? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got some chunker monkers in there. Hopefully it won't be too bad. There we go. Now. Hmm. Hmm. Let's. Let's make this dirty. There we go. A little bit of that. Bit of that. A little bit more of this. There we go. A little bit more of that. There we go. That ought to make it even interesting. Okay, now pull this back over here. There we go. And Put this a little bit in the center, but I want a lot around the outer edges. There we go. Are we ready for this? Like doing a ring pour again or just a regular straight pour? We could do just a regular straight pour. Let's do that. If there is something in that blue. Them. All right, let's torch. Torch and see what we get. Uh, did you notice I have on my apron? I got it from Art by Sparkle. <laughs> if I don't get the pearls to come up, I think I'm going to roll a marble through it and just see what I can get.
going to let it do its thing and see what will happen. Hmm. I am an impatient person. Don't like to wait for stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm throwing a marble on it. <laughs> All right. Putting this down right where that clumpy was. just not satisfied with this and I suck at balloon rolls so if I ruin this I want you to see the reason why I ruin it because I'm just not happy with it still so I want to see if I can bring some copper up there we go there's my copper there is my copper. Much better. Okay. They look like feathers going through, don't they? It's kind of cool. I like that a lot better. And I'm going to leave it right there. I think. I kind of want to do this one again. There we go. There. That's better. There. I like that. I like that much better. And you can see the copper. Far out. Hi guys. We're back in my studio and it's just easier for me in here to kind of bring you down in so you can see all the beautiful detail in this one. It is just so pretty. This is the best balloon roll, um, AKA glove roll, <laughs> that I've ever done. So I'm pretty pleased with it. I just love how they look like feathers falling in the wind. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at those shimmers. So pretty. Just a real deep richness in this one. There's some purples. This one made me work for it. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you just have to keep going, you know, till you're happy. 
or scrape and try again. <laughs> I'm glad I did not have to scrape for a third time. I hope you enjoyed this guys. Thank you so much Nate again for a fun color challenge collab for the month. Please go check out everyone that went before me. The Morning Pour with Holly, Camille Amoy Art, Lori Houston Art, and of course, my collab partner, Nate Bright Art. Loves and hugs y'all. Bye!